the college is partnering with AHA uh, because we are very much uh, in alignment with their mission, which is really about health and wellness, of using education to promote health and well-being in young adults, with the awareness that there are individuals who, in our community, have um, disproportionate health outcomes by virtue of where they live, who they are, the communities that they're a member of. And so our work is to try and make sure that we uh, support uh, the American Heart Association's efforts at bringing awareness to youth, the import and the importance of the research that's happening through um, AHA. You know, my commitment is to tell my story, how the work that AHA does changes lives. It impacts families. Our story, my son Michael's story, uh, is an example of how AHA's work has been integral to his being alive today. Uh, even before he was born, it was apparent that he had a malfunction in his heart and that um, he would need support and he would need intervention very early on. So, you know, but in his first 24 to 48 hours, Michael was in, already in surgery to start correcting uh, the fact that he has HLHS, well, he had actually HLHS, and his hypoplastic left heart syndrome, which means there's a pumped chamber in his heart that's missing. So he didn't, he was born without one. Um, and if Michael had been born 22 years earlier, he would have had no choice. He would have died, right? But because the researchers who did work on their first patient with HLHS did that work 22 years before Michael was born, and they were able to then in, improve on the on the surgery, on the procedures, and, on, and, and the, the work that was able to be done by pharmaceutical companies to develop therapeutics that can help sustain his life, all of that, all of that gave Michael a chance. So that, you know, 48 hours after he was born, he went into surgery, a surgical procedure that you know, was done in a heart that was this size, right? Um, and then he was able to have a life, right? And, and be able to go to kindergarten and be able to go to, to elementary school and go to high school. The work that the heart community and the research community and AHA in partnership with, with surgeons that were doing gave Michael options. AHA and the work that they've been doing is the hope that we need. It gives us hope. It gave our family hope. It gave my son hope. And it continues to. I'm walking and I'm choosing to walk as, as part of the hot walk in Ventura County to tell that story, to, uh, to, to make sure that people are aware that the work that AHA does in our community saves lives. It allows my son's dreams to come true. I was, um, I was in my, I think, late 30s and training with a group of friends to do a half marathon. About partway through my training, I just could not get better and had one of my friends who was a PT um, come over and just take my pulse on a whim. And he said, something's off here. So I learned at that time what cardioversions were, what, um, what Coumadin was, what blood thinners were, um, some of the risks associated with being an AFib. So I've learned a lot in the last um, couple decades about what does heart health mean? And that's when they did um, a genetic analysis and found that I have a gene abnormality. Some people say I'm kind of weird and different anyways, but this one is science proving that, um, that there is um, a gene thing that they've recognized over the years can be attributed to um, some of the electrical muscles, uh, impulses in the heart that affects heart muscle, cardiac muscle. But that was only um, possible within the last five to 10 years that, that we could even do that type of research or that type of um, analysis. And so for th those reasons, I'm, um, I think we have a lot more to learn and a lot more that we can continue to do that's gonna, that are gonna help um, people of all ages understand better their health and particular with the heart. Well, what we need right now is more participation and more people that will do whatever they can to support this cause and raise awareness. So maybe that means uh, donating $10, $20, $50 to the Moore Park Raider team. Um, maybe it's just coming and walking and uh, 
there's a lot of great uh, weather now that we're gonna enjoy and I think it's gonna be an amazing morning to walk together and then support um, our, our community's health. Okay, my name's Jeff Baker. I teach English uh, here at Moore Park College and uh, I'm here to talk, you know, on behalf of the Heart Walk today. Uh, I have a lot of experience with heart problems. I had uh, my first heart attack at 34 years old. The aftermath of all this was, I'm a graduate student, I don't have any money, I don't really have any resources. Here was a situation of total strangers, and I'm not even Catholic, so people that I, I'm not even of their, of their same faith, just kind of went out of their way and did me this enormous kindness that made it possible for me to live the life that I've lived in these intervening 30 years. And if it hadn't been for their generosity, I don't, really don't know what it would have looked like. So. I hope that this story, story sort of inspires people take the heart walk seriously because it's the acts of kindness of strangers that make it possible for a guy like I was that had no resources to not start out or be find themselves in the middle, middle of their life with their life essentially ruined by medical debt. So it's a great thing and I hope that my story is inspirational and helps people too. Get on, get on board and, and, and help people raise the money for people like, like I was that, that need the help.